Sciences was created to function as a consumable security tool that masks the complexities of Splunk's search processing language. I'd like to go over some of Sciences' more prominent features to help give a better understanding of what each of them are capable of and how they can assist Splunk users to strengthen their environment. When you open the Sciences app, you'll automatically be redirected to the Overview dashboard. This dashboard was designed to be a single pane of glass which allows Splunk users to get a complete picture of their environment. This intuitive graphical user interface was thoughtfully laid out for ease of navigation. The first dashboard panel that you'll encounter consists of reports that are categorized by type. Simply click on one of the following categories to view all the reports that are available for a particular grouping. Let's take a look at what the Active Directory in Windows has to offer. At the top of each report, there's a data collection dashboard panel that notifies Splunk users if the appropriate data is present or not, as well as providing information about where the events are being collected from. Underneath the data collection section, you'll begin to see all the various reports that are available for the specified category. We've also included a brief description at the bottom of each report. One report that truly separates itself from the rest is the malicious IP list. This list keeps track of globally detected malicious IPs and provides useful insights, such as when a blocked IP was last seen and where and if the malicious IP address was involved in a distributed denial of service attack. Having the ability to monitor bad traffic that's targeting multiple firewalls from a blocked IP address is an invaluable tool for any IT organization. If we go back to the Overview Dashboard and look below the Report section, we'll see a multitude of alerts that each fit into one or more dashboard panels, which are labeled by classification. Each class contains a list of alerts followed by a number of notable events associated with each alert. We made sure that Splunk users could easily access this data as fast as possible by incorporating a color scheme that would reflect what's happening in one's environment. If the notable events are highlighted in green, then everything is okay. The color red would indicate that the alert has detected suspicious activity that would require further evaluation in the form of a security audit. Similar to the reports dashboard panel, by clicking on an alert, you'll be redirected to the forensics dashboard for more information pertaining to the alert. This dashboard was created to act as a forensic panel to aid Splunk users with their security audit process. For example, if I select the fake Windows Processes Alert, we'll be able to see the notable events that are linked to this alert, as well as all contributing events in addition to the compromised systems, signature, and details of the alert itself. Sciences will ultimately be equipped with pre-configured countermeasures to stop an attack on any exposed system. Make sure to watch our next video which covers Sciences installation and configuration process.